Hello everyone. Admit it, it's always interesting to learn more about creative professions. For example, how a famous band is recording an album in the studio, or how animators create the universe of your favorite game, and also how animated movie characters get their voice. Voicing is indeed a very interesting process. Large animation studios often invite real pop stars, singers, bloggers, and Hollywood celebrities as voice actors, and probably you've never noticed it. Well, sit back and watch the video to the end. Today, we'll tell you about some people who voice the coolest animation movie characters of recent years. And don't forget to subscribe, okay? Let's get it on. Stardog and Turbo Cat a couple of years ago, nobody had heard about TikTok, and no one could imagine one could get a huge number of fans on social media over just one evening. Charlie D'Amelio from the US became some sort of pioneer in this regard. She posted her first video in the summer of 2019, and in just a couple of days, she gained several million views and immediately received an invitation to perform at the Jonas Brothers concert. Sounds like some fictional story, right? You just don't know all of it. It gets even more exciting. Charlie became the first TikTok user to gain 100 million followers. Before that, even prominent stars couldn't dream of this. No wonder many large companies immediately made offers to Charlie, inviting her to come to the Super Bowl and record a video with Jennifer Lopez. Just imagine that. In June last year, Charlie voiced the adorable mouse Tinker from the cartoon Stardog and Turbo Cat. Will you all just shut up and listen to me? As often happens with famous people, Charlie received not only many compliments, but also tons of criticism. Many felt that the girl's voice didn't fit the character that she played, but this perhaps is the cost of being popular. After all, Charlie really nailed her role. Share in the comments if you agree. Onward Last year, Pixar released another amazing animated movie that you could actually miss because of you-know-what. By an unfortunate accident, the premiere of Onward was scheduled for March, when most of the countries of the world declared a lockdown, so not everyone was able to see the movie. Nevertheless, critics enjoyed it. If you've not yet had time to watch the wonderful creation of the great film studio, we'll give you a short summary. The story unravels in a magical world where technology has replaced placed magic. The main characters are the Lightfoot Elf Brothers, but in real life, of course, they were voiced by actors who are not related to each other. The older brother, Barley, was voiced by Chris Pratt, who you probably know by his roles in the Jurassic World and Guardians of the Galaxy sagas. The younger brother, Ian, was voiced by Tom Holland, who played Spider-Man in many Marvel films. Loft Elevor! A loft Elevor! No, from your heart, Spider! In general, Fans of the Avengers definitely appreciated this casting. Just look at these two in the studio. It seems that they really enjoy working together. Soul This year, Pixar released another hit, an inspiring animated movie about a music teacher who dreams of playing jazz in the best clubs in New York. This touching film, it seems, can't leave anyone indifferent. Teacher Joe Gardner is voiced by a renowned American actor and stand-up comedian Jamie Foxx. You may know him from his role in Tarantino's movie Django Unchained. It is symbolic that Jamie is also a professional musician. He's been playing the piano since the age of five and graduated from several prestigious institutions with a degree in composition. So far, the actor has recorded several commercially successful studio albums, worked with recognized rappers like Kanye West and 50 Cent, and won lots of music awards. Yes, a talented person is indeed talented in everything. Hotel Transylvania the first part of this mega-popular franchise came out almost 10 years ago and received mixed reviews from critics, but ordinary viewers immediately fell in love with the saga. After all, how can you not like a kind Dracula, musical Frankenstein, and funny Mavis? This animated movie shows monsters from a very unlikely angle, and it's incredibly exciting to watch. Another thing the creators of the franchise have done right is the excellent selection of voice actors. The shy and slightly clumsy head of the family is voiced by the famous comedian Adam Sandler, and the daughter of the character Mavis is voiced by the former star of the Disney TV series Selena Gomez. 
Look how well the actors have gotten into their roles. Seems like they're just opening their mouths in sync with the real voice of the animated characters and not vice versa. And if you look closely, you'll notice that the voice actors even look a bit like the characters they play. The Angry Birds Movie 2 the first animated movie based on the incredibly popular game turned out to be much less commercially successful than the creators expected. Perhaps this is why Sony Pictures decided to bring in even more stars for the voice acting in the production of the second part of the Angry Birds movie. Here, you'll see the young YouTube star Jojo Siwa, who voiced two little birds Jay and Kira, rapper Nicki Minaj as the spectacular Pinky, and the popular American actress Dove Cameron as the charming Ella. The star of Game of Thrones Peter Dinklage appeared in both parts of the movie, voicing one of the key characters, the mighty eagle. Many fans of the series probably still heard Tyrion Lannister when he was speaking. Moana Another good example of a successful casting of voice actors is a former wrestler Dwayne Johnson, who was the voice of one of the main characters, the demigod Maui, in the animated movie Moana. It's funny that the actor's mother is of Polynesian origin, and as you know, the story of this Disney blockbuster takes place on the Polynesian island. By the way, The Rock sings the hit song You're Welcome himself. Yeah, did you know that he's also a very talented singer? In the movie Journey to the Mysterious Island, based on the novel by Jules Verne, there's even a scene where Johnson sings a modified version of the immortal song What a Wonderful World, and plays his ukulele around the campfire. The tiny gets looks really cute in his pumped up hands. Ice Age 5 Collision Course Of course, we all adore this franchise for its unique characters. The restless saber-toothed squirrel, the cranky mammoth Manny, the absent-minded sloth Sid, and the remorseless tiger Diego. But these characters would definitely not be so interesting if not for the brilliant work of the voice actors. Celebrities voice not only the key characters, but also the supporting ones. For example, Diego's wife, the brave female tiger Shira, is voiced by the famous singer Jennifer Lopez. It's a very scary story. And Sid's love interest Brooke got a British accent thanks to the pop star Jessie J. Actual visitors! Here, you can also hear the famous rapper Queen Latifah as the mammoth Ellie and British comedian Simon Pegg as the weasel Buck. No worries, sloth, because I've got a plan. The dino bird Gavin was voiced by the actor of the series Parks and Recreation, Nick Offerman. Uh, so much sight, so little vision. What an excellent cast. Underdogs you might have missed this Argentinian-Spanish cartoon about foosball because it never got a worldwide release. In the United States, the premiere of the film in cinemas was simply cancelled, although many celebrities took part in the voice acting. For example, pop diva Ariana Grande, who voiced the main female character named Laura, and it seems this was a perfect match. Ugly Dolls after purchasing the filming rights from the Ugly Dolls plush toy brand, Illumination Studio was serious about involving world stars to voicing. Here, we have several musical compositions written for Ugly Dolls by world-famous musicians. Among them are tracks by Kelly Clarkson, Pitbull, and Nick Jonas. All three of them also voice the characters Moxie, Ugly Dog, and Lou, respectively. It's all right, guys. Slick dogs got this. Sweet Wedgehead speaks in the voice of American Horror Story star Emma Roberts, while Tuesday is voiced by American singer and composer B.B. Rexer. Not a cast, but rather an entire orchestra. Smurfs The Lost Village Voicing animated movies is not an easy task. Finding the right voice for a small fictional smurf is much harder than for a kid from a non-animated movie. That's why only true masters are invited to voice animated movies. Though the voice actors here were different in all parts of the saga, which is not quite typical for this industry. In the first two parts, Smurfette was voiced by Katy Perry, but in the third one, Demi Lovato took over. By the way, it's ironic that Lovato was at one time in a relationship with Perry's former lover, John Mayer. In addition, the American Fast and Furious star Michelle Rodriguez voiced Smurf Storm, the Office actress Ellie Kemper voiced Smurf Blossom, and the one and only Julia Roberts played Smurf Willow. 
By the way, since we mentioned the Office TV series, Dwight is here too. Actor Rain Wilson voiced the evil wizard Gargamel. You'll definitely not confuse this voice with any other. Oh, look at me with hair. Trolls. Another animated movie about the adventures of tiny mythical creatures. And another star cast. Remember Bella's high school friend from the Twilight Saga? She was played by actress Anna Kendrick, who, however, has since played more prominent roles. In Trolls, she voiced one of the main characters, Poppy. Singer Justin Timberlake worked side by side with her and gave his voice to a character named Branch. The comedian Christopher Mintz Plass, Broadway diva Christine Baranski, a comedian and ex husband of Kate. Casey Perry, Russell Brand, singer Gwen Stefani, TV host James Corden, and star of the Big Bang Theory series Kunal Naya also played in the movie. Looks like we have a real Hall of Fame here. Madagascar Escape to Africa it's hard to believe it, but the seducer of Glorio, the Hippo Moto Moto, was voiced by the frontman of the legendary band The Black Eyed Peas, musician Will I Am. I see you around, girl. It won't be hard because, girl, you plump him. To do this, he had to speak in a really low voice with a mellow pitch, which was not quite natural for him. Well, it turned out really convincing. Rio. Will I Am also played in the animated movie about the adventures of two anthropomorphic parrots. He not only voiced Pedro, but also, along with a huge team of Brazilian musicians, produced the original soundtrack. After all, this guy knows how to create powerful beats like no other. And in the second part of Rio, Bruno Mars gave his voice to the parrot Roberto and sang a spectacular ballad in his famous style. Scooby-Doo Seems like there could be no better choice for sensible and fearless Fred than handsome Zac Efron. One gets the feeling that he shares a lot in common with his character, so it's not difficult for the actor to accurately portray all the necessary intonations of the character. What? Someone had to say it! You weren't saying it! I'm scared! I'm scared! By the way, Fred's companion, the red-haired Daphne, was voiced by actress and model Amanda Seyfried. Hails taxis, obliterates ghost dogs, who knew? Sing. It's impossible not to fall in love with the cute porcupine rocker Ash from the cartoon Sing. And it's also impossible to believe that Scarlett Johansson voiced this character. She doesn't look anything like her. Actually, she sang all the songs too. I look to you as it fell night in my way. Scarlett has been pursuing a music career for many years. In 2008, she even released her debut album, featuring such legends as David Bowie and Tom Waits. By the way, in the modern remake of Disney's The Jungle Book, Scarlett not only voiced the car snake, but also sang the main song from the original soundtrack. Yes, would you like to see? Even though her song appears only in the credits, it's definitely worth the wait. Mulan it's hard to believe, but Jackie Chan, a stuntman of all of the action movies of the 90s, is also an excellent singer. In the cartoon Mulan, he voiced the love interest of the main character, Captain Li Shang, and even recorded his song. Jackie Chan also voiced the main male character in Beauty and the Beast. Well, in both cases, he was dubbing their voices for the Chinese version of the animated movie. Though Chan voiced the monkey from Kung Fu Panda and Mr. Feng from The Nut Job 2 in English. My name is Mr. Feng. I was cursed with this big, adorable eye. Jackie Chan is featured in animated movies not only as a voice actor. For example, he helped choreograph the fights in the Lego Ninjago movie. Who else can you ask to teach you hand-to-hand -hand combat? Jackie also voiced a couple of characters, Sensei Wu and Mr. Liu. Monsters vs. Aliens in this case, you get the feeling the character was created to match the voice actor, not vice versa. See for yourself. After all, the main character of the Monsters vs. Aliens, Susan Murphy, looks so similar to Reese Witherspoon. By the way, remember the Sing animated movie which we mentioned earlier today? Reese also featured in that, playing the role of Rosita the Pig. And of course, she sang Taylor Swift's hit song, Shake It Off. Seems like everyone in Hollywood can sing. Frozen. 
We think everyone knows who is the cutest character in Frozen. Well, of course, that's the naive snowman Olaf, who dreams of seeing the summer sun, even knowing that it can simply kill him. Josh Gad gave this hero a unique personality. For the love of all that's good in this world, where are we going? He may not be well known for his role in movies, but he has vast experience in voice acting. For example, in the fourth part of Ice Age, he voiced another charming character, the mole hog Louie. SpongeBob SquarePants You might think that the voice of the main character of this TV series is generated by some special software to achieve a comic effect. Well, how can a living person talk like that? Look at me! I'm naked! Who's ready? I'm ready! <laughs> I'm ready! Turns out for many years, all of SpongeBob's lines have been voiced by a comedian, Thomas Kenny, who also voices the French narrator, Patchy the Pirate, and Gary the Snail. It's funny that in real life, Thomas is married to an actress who voices the supercomputer Karen from the same cartoon. Hold on a second. Do you want to see some crazy stories from real life? Nothing dull, only action, only adventures, chases and fights, love confessions and sudden betrayals. Don't believe us? <laughs> well, follow the link and see for yourselves. Our animation channel Private Diary reveals the deepest secrets. Don't forget to subscribe.